Hey guys, it's Leon Epp. Welcome to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am working on this drum style accent table. It's very vintage. It has had better days. It's very beat up. And I actually bought it several months ago. I'm just getting around to working on it and I'm so excited to start. The first thing I have to do is remove a couple of these legs because the table itself is tilted and it's because the legs are off. I added some extra screws here and there to tighten things up and make sure that nothing was rocking. Once the legs were out, I sanded down old glue that it had and added more fresh glue. Once everything was dry and level, I am now gonna start painting. I am using one of my favorite colors by DIY Paint, and this is their Apothecary. It is a beautiful teal, kinda greenish, bluish color, and that's what I love about it, it's very unique. But the texture of this paint is wonderful. When I tell you it has beautiful coverage and it's very smooth and velvety, it is. So, it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna give it two coats. It was actually almost full coverage with the one. It is beautiful, but it didn't need a second coat, so I did add two. The top had been previously painted in a black, but it didn't matter, the paint covered it really well. And now I'm adding the second coat. I want to take a second and invite you guys to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so yet and if you like the video give me a thumbs up For the distressing of this table, I decided to do wet distress and I wanted a um, 
pretty heavy distress so I grabbed a towel that was very textured and of course it's damp and I am just taking my time and um, focusing on the edges on the details and overall just giving it a good heavy distress one thing that I like to keep in mind while when I'm distressing with a wet rag is that I want to start slow with little pressure and then increase pressure as I feel I need more distress. It's easier to take more off than have to add paint and then do it all over again. Wet distressing works marvelously for the legs of tables and even the base of this table because it has that rounded finish to it. After I was done with the wet distressing, I grabbed a uh, dry rag and I'm just um, going over the, the parts that I distressed to remove any dust. I am now lightly sanding throughout the whole table with a 220 grit sandpaper, not to distress more, but to smooth everything out. Adding the first of three coats of uh, polycrylic that I added on the top of the table, and then on the rest of the table, on the base and the legs, I added two coats. I lined the drawers so that it has a nice clean look inside of it and then I also added a brand new knob and then I'll be all done. So here's what the table looked like before. Here's what it looks like now. I think this color is perfect on this table. I love, love, love it. That this dress looks perfect on this table. It just looks like it's been chippy and weathered for many years. This is it for now guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I truly enjoyed making it and I hope to see you soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.